Hello, I'm Dr. Rusty Wigwam, four times world naked buckaroo champion and the biological father to your children. Every week I receive millions of emails from my adoring fans and this week was no exception. Usually these emails are just offers of degrading sexual favours or cash donations to my charity www. Help Dr. Rusty buy more heroin dot com. But this week I was amazed to receive this picture. That's right. This lunatic went to a party dressed as me. In America. Incredible but true. On the other side of the world there is a weirdo dressing up like me. Let's take another look. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dr. Rusty, you should sue this idiot for illegally impersonating you. And don't worry, I will. See you in court, weirdo. Then I get this. I am now part of a Top Trumps card game featuring pictures of celebrity perverts and well-known bastards. I am very pleased about this. The cards are produced by an astounding YouTuber called Danger Cuts. All the links are in the box. Check out his music. He rocks a fat one. Anyway, these photos reminded me of the time in the mid-1980s when I was hired by the British Tourist Board to design and appear in a series of billboard posters promoting Great Britain as a holiday destination. As you know, I hate tourists, and so most of my designs were rejected. Let's take a look at them. Here's a lovely picture of the British coastline. I don't know why, but the British Tourist Board said they didn't think this would attract tourists. They didn't like this one either. They said this one was a little bit aggressive. Apparently, tourists don't like being stabbed in the eyes. I thought this was a fantastic opportunity to get rid of the Queen. The tourist board disagreed. I thought this one was quite clever. A bit of wordplay on the great in Great Britain. This one speaks for itself. I'd pretty much lost the plot by now. I was trying to put people off by telling them the truth. The tourist board hated this one. So the tourist board said, Please, Dr. Rusty, can you be a bit more positive about tourists and Great Britain? OK, I said, I'll try. I thought this one was perfect. They didn't. This one is brilliant. They hated it. Now, if that doesn't convince you to come to Great Britain, there's obviously something wrong with you. So they said, please, Dr. Rusty, keep it simple. Give people one great reason to visit Great Britain. OK, I said. I thought this one was perfect, but the tourist board said no. They hated this one, so I thought I'd try it again, make it more informative. They really hated this one. So I gave up and decided to run my own advertising campaign to attract the sort of people I wanted to come to Great Britain. I like junky tourists. They're good for business. Same goes for sex tourists. Big titted tourists are always welcome. Does this sound like you? Please, come to Great Britain. Great Britain. Criminals, welcome. The police are rubbish. Now, that's perfect. Obviously, the police were not very happy about that poster. So, here's the poster I had put up on billboards all over the UK as a response to their complaints. Up yours, copper. 
And here's a picture of one of my fleet of narcotics importation ships. It's quite a large load. I was having a party that weekend. Goodbye.